Welcome back to the baby. Hey. Welcome back to the basement yard. Yeah, do what you were doing. I was doing. I was doing the middle finger. Wait, why did you do like a? I was. Get, I was well, gonna you did say an M&M eight mile. I was one. gonna say. Do you remember this was the MySpace middle finger? Which one? That sucks. That it's super That's such a sucks. Whack middle finger. Yeah, just go. Just go with the like. This is a hard one. Like, because <laughs> <laughs> you're you're ah! you're holding down the other fingers. Yeah, and this you one's could like like that one's you a, skateboard. That that one is. You're right. Do you, you drink Monsters Energy? It's eight mile. It's Brittany. Mur- That's a Brittany Murphy finger. Yeah. This this is like I live at home and I'm thirty. Yes. This is I still listen to Cascada. Yeah. On a normal basis. This is like really angry. Yeah. If you get if you get one with like the fingers held down, you yeah. de- you deserve that. Yeah. Uh, but these, this was MySpace all day, baby. Yeah. I I I find it hard to even do. This was an Italian from Howard Beach, that. Took a picture with the boys or the girls, the girls, the girls. Yeah, and they were just like, yeah, you know, people can't smile in pictures because it makes them look weak. Absolutely not. Speaking of that, um, speaking of weakness, no, uh, no, just speaking of pictures, which oh. kind of reminded me of something yesterday. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I get a FaceTime from a number I don't know. You, and you have to answer it. I don't know why I did, but I did. Good. Guess who was on the other end? Uh, I mean, someone from our past? Yeah. Ooh, Karina Hindle. <laughs> <laughs> no? Am I off? Just so you guys know, <laughs> that, is <the> name, <laughs> that is the name of a girl in our pre-K class. Well, we had seen her later on in life as well. Not me. Oh, yeah, she was around her and her brother, Matthew. I, I remember her brother, Matthew. Yes, and they were around. But I hadn't seen uh, Karina. She was around. She'd gotten beat up at a park, at 48th Street Park. I'm Excuse pretty sure. Excuse me. I'm pretty sure she got like whopped. She got molly whopped. Mollied. Yeah. At uh at, at the park at the park by a handful of people. Uh, I can't confirm. I don't. Th- I, I I I honestly don't have many memories. Took it like a champ though, probably. Uh, probably, but um, I assume it wasn't Karina Hindle on the other line. It was fucking not. Frankie. Okay. All right. Who was it? No, it was my dad. You're. My dad had FaceTime. Your dad has FaceTime now? My dad has had a fucking flip phone forever, and he had an iPhone. And the only reason... Do you want to hear this? He bought an iPhone because he wanted to go to a concert, and they said you need to have it on your phone, and you can't do that with a flip phone. So he bought an iPhone just to get into the concert. And then he just leaves it in the box. Don't even try to tell right? us that this world's an ageist, and we're not trying to just, like, all these old people just, like, shove them down underneath the pillow. So listen, I, 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 and it ended up being him and Thomas at the same time. My dad has the phone like this. He's laying down? He's like, no, he's sitting in a chair. He's sitting in a chair and he has his phone here. Why? Because he's... <laughs> God, this opens the door to so many possibilities. Bro, yeah, now he's going to FaceTime me, dude. Now you have to see your dad's face. <laughs> Nobody FaceTime me and he was like, bro, I immediately I fucking bursted out laughing. <laughs> well, immediately. Yeah. Duh. I lost it because of the angle. I'm like, where am I, dude? I'm staring at the top of your head. Yeah, I don't get it. With parents, they can't hold a phone. They can't hold a phone. When I talk, when I FaceTime my mom, she keeps it here. Yeah, the whole time. My mom too. Doesn't matter what she's. She could be like, oh look, look at what I made. Yeah, and I'm like, ma, turn the phone around, do click, you know, and yeah. But my mom holds the phone like this, and I'm like, are you trying to read the nutritional facts of the phone? There's none there. It's just me. It doesn't make any sense. It's like you're trying to read. Like, is there is there a how much potassium is in this? I'm like, back the fuck up, biz. Hey, listen, I, I haven't seen your dad in a couple years. A, probably not his best angle coming from the top down. I, I it's better than the bottom up. Oh, it is better from the bottom up. I mean, it's always better from the bottom up. Wait, is it? No. It's like, that's this is a worse angle. No, yeah, that's a way worse no, that's angle. That's why girls, you see girls take pictures and they're like this. Up high, yeah. Up high because it gets, you know, the, the shadows cut parts of their body, you know, that they didn't want, you know, as, as accentuated by the light. I have light. no idea what it is. I, I think that's what it I is. See, like, dude, also asking my mom to take a picture, like, I don't know what it is because before you were saying it, old people with phones. And they don't my, get it. My mom takes pictures like she's firing a shotgun. She's like this. She gets in a stance like this and she's like, and I'm like, yo, right here, dude. Move oh, your body around. But yeah. she's like, 
She doesn't get it. She doesn't understand how to be limber and get, you know, but she's, she's trying to do the right she's thing. She wants it still. Coming, coming. Well, it's because cameras in her day, if she had moved a half an inch, it would fucking ruin the entire picture. Well, back then, it's like, oh, yeah, oh, I want to take a picture. You got to bring an umbrella with you? What the I fuck always, was yeah, that? There was umbrellas. And it was smoke? Bro, yeah, I was going to, fucking cameras. umbrellas. They had giant fucking lights with like a fucking like 900 watt bulb. What is that? And you would take a picture and there'd be smoke coming out. Yeah, of it. and like, the, yeah, <laughs> exactly. It would be like dust and smoke. It's like harnessing the power of the sun to get a photo. Yeah, it didn't make any, but that, you know, back then, you know, they were all fucked up. It was probably cocaine in those lights. No, I think that it was probably like asbestos. Oh, definitely, 100% asbestos. Yeah. Um, it, it always reminds me of, like, when I was a kid, I, I watched the Flintstones, and I always thought the cameras were, like, inside, how it had, like, the little parrot that was, like, chiseling, like, I'm taking the picture. Or like move quicker. Oh, oh, or yeah, stay yeah. still. You know, yeah, yeah. I always thought because I, I swear to God, cameras make no sense to me. Like no. digital cameras make sense because they're just capturing what they see and they're just like that's it. It's stopping. It's yeah. stopping it. But like real cameras, bro. Forget about cameras. Think about this. A telephone call. What the fuck are we doing? Yeah, I don't know. That, that, and not connected to nothing. Even if it was connected to something, I'm talking to you through like. A wire? Yeah, it doesn't make what any the fuck? And like it's in the air, and like it's in the air. when you make a call, it's in the air, so I can grab it. Where I can't, I'm fucking up conversations. Honestly, like honestly, I don't know. Landlines used to fuck me up back in the day because it was like it had to connect somewhere and then go to that place, and it, it just never. I it's one of those things that like I'll never be smart enough to comprehend, you know? Bro, I, like phones are just like I, I still don't understand them. Like even in, like the very basic level of phone <laughs> i don't i don't get how it works i i in my head i think of like two cups and a string and i'm like oh it's the vibration it's the vibration but there ain't no vibration there ain't no vibration with a with a phone zero vibration doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any fucking sense did you ever go to the, one of those parks that had like the underground pipe system where it was like you can go to one part of the of the under uh, of the park and you can talk into oh man i think your dad was just bringing you to work that wasn't a park no <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, he did a lot of that. Yeah. Um, it, it was. It's like a, people know what I, I'm talking about. Around here, I see like the Jewish kids using it. There's only Jewish kids around here. There are. It's Hasidic as shit. There are confirmed. I don't know if I can say that. But there's a lot of Hasidic. There, there are a lot of, uh, uh, of yeah. Jewish people. But it's it's serious. There's like speakers at the other side of the park, and you talk into it, yeah. and you could talk to the other person on the other side. I need to confess something. You're afraid of the Jewish people. No. <laughs> I need to confess something. Go ahead, you anti-Semite. One day, I, 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 I'm not, but I felt like one that day because someone, one, this little Jewish kid fucking gave me the craziest eyes ever. But I drove by this park, and there was that, and I had never seen that before. So there's a little park when you get onto the highway over here where they have, like, it's, it comes out of the ground. It's like a big thing. And one kid was yelling in it, and then I saw the other kid. He, like, ran to the other one, and these guys ear to it yeah it's listening so I took my phone out cause I'm like that's fucking sick that's not why you did it I swear to god that's why I did it go ahead right I took my phone out and I go to take a picture of these kids using this thing cause I was gonna send it to someone and be like yo have you guys ever seen this before like this is fire cause we didn't have that in our park growing up yeah we did not, no, we our, not our main park but there were parks that had it which one no, uh, not in Astoria, but definitely. I, mean. I have been to parks that had it as a oh, kid. Oh, well, I'm saying our park that we grew up at. No, 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 it did not. So I was like baffled. So, but as I was taking the picture, there was like a, a little Jewish kid who was like, he was like maybe 12, 13, like old enough to like, you know? And I think he thought that I was like, oh, look, Jews, and taking <laughs> pictures. You know, like, look at these guys in the, in the curls or whatever, you know? Which I, but I was baffled by the. Playground machine. The science, yeah, the engineering. The science that is happening in this playground. I was like, this is fucking awesome. But he just looked at me like this. Damn. And I was like, I got, I got mean mug. Left. I got mean mug, mug too. We recently filmed and had like an evening shoot, uh, doing something. And I drove home at about nine thirty, and you would have thought it was, like the normal like two p.m. with people playing in the streets, and it was just all young like Jewish boys and Jewish girls like in the fucking street playing. Yeah, and it was like you know like those like movies and TV shows where like they, someone drives through and they're like playing stickball and they're like car and they all move aside and yeah. then the car goes through and they all fucking all come back. That's what it was like. But there was a lot. Yeah, yeah. There was a lot, and it was like nine thirty at night. I was like, what the fuck? There's a lot of people out. Yeah. For it, 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 it blew my mind. But uh, dude, we need to get your dad on. Uh, yeah, FaceTime now. Can I have his number? 
I don't know. But, uh, the phone's probably not. It's probably in a fucking box somewhere. Oh, you think he just FaceTimed you? No. Now that he knows he can FaceTime you and your siblings, it's a wrap, dude. Yeah, I don't know. He's going to be wanting to talk By to you. By the way, love the Jews. Great playgrounds. Oh, we were talking about your dad. Well, I'm just saying. No, love the Jews, that. not your dad. No, that's not what I was saying. I love my dad, too. You oh, okay. <laughs> all right. I just want to make sure. You know, we all have our problems. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so it, it kind of, you know, that was, that was a, a low point for me. Um, really got me by surprise there. Yeah, I can see how that got you by surprise. It flustered me. I, I thought about it all the whole way home. I was like, I hope that kid doesn't think that I was. Well, like, now he and now he went home and like he, you were a topic of conversation. At the I do table. think though, a thought that always comes into my mind when I see, uh, I mean, only because I see them every single day. But the Hasidic Jews, they wear the same sort of like outfits every day. Um, I don't know the name for them, so I don't want to be offensive, but. Well, you they, just call them outfits, so. Yeah, well, they are outfits. They are clothing. Gotcha. Okay. Um, but. Uh, I wonder what they think. Like, do they do they think that like your outfit? They're looking at you and they're going like, either like, damn, that shit is fire. Like, I wish I could wear that. Or are they going like, this dude's fucking going to hell? Probably the going to hell part. I really, I, I, I tend, don't know. I feel I don't know. Uh, well, I think a lot of their uh, daily lifestyle, and this is me speaking with guess what, zero basis. Yeah. Uh, I I but I do think that they, that part of their their lifestyle, whether it be you know the choices they make, obviously the choices they make, but their their outfit as well. Is some it has some sort of religious connection, bro? Duh. But, I'm just saying, like that thought has to pop into your mind. Yeah, imagine as, as that like they a, see like anyone like a 14 else. year old, you know, or 15 year old who's like in at that age where they're like trying to. Oh, any shit. any religion, any like hardcore like religious group, like people that are not in it, they're just like, I'll see when the rapture comes. Best of luck. Yeah, yeah. You know, like they they believe that we're gonna get fucking you know murdered by. And isn't that so funny? Like, whatever God you believe in is supposed to be, like, this all-knowing, all-loving, I forgive everything, everyone's welcome, you're all my children, but when I come back, if you're not on my board, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's <laughs> like, it doesn't, that doesn't I really mean, you know, line up. I, you know, do your thing. That's the, But I, I was just thinking, like, in my head. Yo, you because I have the reverse. I go, yo, what if maybe I should start? I, I tend to, <laughs> I tend to, like, look at, like, in a situation like that, and you have to imagine that they're thinking, like, they're going to hell. That's the way think I think I'm about it, is that they, whenever I'm around any, like, hardcore religious group... Or maybe group, they don't think I'm going to hell, but they do think that, like, they're, like, you're not doing, like, completely the right thing. Yeah, no, you're wrong. God will get you. In some way, you're... you're not that you're wrong, but you're, like, you could be better. No, they're... You know pro yeah, I mean? they're probably, like, you're probably a good person, it's nice to meet you, but, like, hell will be hot. Yeah, it will. Yeah, just let me know how it is. Yeah, just let me know. Exactly. Bring in sunscreen or something. All a guess, babe. Oh, yeah, I don't... And guess what? Don't know to, don't care to know. I mean, I'm gonna. I'll find out one day. Eventually. If I find that kid again, I'm gonna have to pull him over and be like, "Listen, man. Hey, do me a favor. When you pull <laughs> up to a kid at a park, don't pull over and get out and try to talk to him and call him over. That that might be a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Just just an, just an idea. It could be. I don't know. No, I would almost I absolutely guarantee that a all right white man pulling up to a bunch of Jewish kids in a park saying, "Come here, you you come here." Bad idea. Yeah. Maybe I should just yell from my car. Yell Yo! Yeah, yell from your car and be like, I got, come here, I got something for you. I swear I don't hate yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Do you think that I got candy in my car line has ever really worked? I mean, it had to. I guess, yeah, you can't, you can't be afraid of something if it didn't happen at least once. I'll be once. honest with you, bro. That shit would have got me. Oh, yeah. I loved candy. 100%. If they were like, Yo! I got a lollipop paint shop in here. Come on. I'd be, like, it. I'd be like, bro, I'm, where's the paint shop? I'm, 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 first, you got to lick it. You lick it, then you dip it. I'm right there. Yeah. Um, depending on the candy, though. Yeah. Like, all right. if it, Joey, if it were Jolly Ranchers, you going? Probably not. Okay. All blue Jolly Ranchers. Warmer, but no. I, I was not big on Jolly Ranchers. Hey, so I, I, got a, I, was, I got a bucket full of pink Starburst in this car. I'd have to see that. Oh, really? Because especially at that time, the all pink thing, which like now they make. Now they make. That didn't exist. So I'd be like, all pink? No way. It was like, Got literally, me. it was like opening a pack of Pokemon cards when you would get a, like a sleeve of Starburst because you were like, you didn't know what was in there. Like I mean, there would be did. They would go in order. No, they were always random. No. They go in order. I remember them being random. Bro, they go in an order. Oh, maybe maybe I just got the uh, Fugazi maybe, ones. Maybe Starburst. No, but uh, but we also got. Uh, we said this before. We got into the ice cream fan. So luckily, yes. he was a good dude. Babalu, my guy. But Babalu is my guy. Also, was the guy to several people using cocaine in Astoria, to my understanding. Oh, he was selling that thing. I believe so. I believe he was, he was selling dat. He sold dat out of the van. Out of the van. And uh, and the ice cream. Well, the, the ice cream was the best part. Yeah, but he was selling ice cream, and he was the snowman. 
He was the snowman. It was cold in there. It, it was quite cold. I have like a weird place in my heart for the smell of a Mr. Softy truck. You the get like ice cream exhaust? sprinkles exhaust. Yeah. Yeah, and you like you get like the old engine. I would inhale e- exhaust and then just pass out for three hours. What I would do for a milkshake, and then what I could do after drinking the milkshake is nothing. But I would no, love to eat one. You eat you one. would not be consciously be doing it. Your body would be doing something with the milkshake, and yeah. that's squirting it directly out of your fucking sphincter. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, one I had a milkshake once. I had been eating like super clean for like two weeks, and then I was driving somewhere, and I passed a McDonald's, and I was like, "Yo, fuck this!" Like I pulled the trigger. Shake so bad. I went through the drive-through and I got a medium fry and a vanilla shake. Wait, that's it? Yeah, because I just wanted the shake, but I was like, the fry is also like you dip. Yeah, you're one of those people. Well, not that not that about the dipping. It was just it was, and I didn't dip it. It was just nice to have like a thing and then wash it down with a milkshake. And bro, fuck that milkshake hit so hard, and it hurt me (laughs) because at like 2 a.m. I had like just right here was hot. And then down here was cold. Mm. So there was clearly a, a weather battle going yeah, on. Yeah, there, there was a chemical reaction inside of your body. Bro, and then like my lower, like my fupa was just like... Really? It was just bubbling. You had the bubble gut? Yeah, and then I just fucking <sighs> spit. You spit out your butt. Yeah. That does not sound fun. I, I, I will say, as of today, I am still clean. No fast food. And not even like what this whole year, this whole year so far, I feel good. I feel great. What's fast food though? Like is Olive Garden fast food? Um, I wouldn't consider it fast food, but I also wouldn't go. Yeah, I wouldn't go either. Olive Garden. I knew. A I've person, never been. I ever tell you a story? I was uh, in college. I, I knew someone whose friend worked at Olive Garden and like either sued the Olive Garden or some shit because she no not that she worked there. She went to eat there, and her ex was a cook there. Or some shit like that. And she... He came in it? Apparently. Whoa! He apparently, came in it? I was joking. Yeah, no, apparently. He came in her what? Clam chowder? I would... You know, I don't know if they sell clam chowder. Fettuccine chow. Alfredo. She I would say it'd probably be the fettuccine. <gasps> yeah, because you can't come in red sauce. You'd be, no. Well, no, you can, you can do it. You can, yeah, I mean, you can come in anything, up, really. You can, you can hide it, it if you really want to hide yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. That just made me never want to go to Olive Garden again. On top of the taste. Well, also, it's just kind of like a, you know... Like I would never go to like Long John Silver's. Like, oh man, I would love a fillet of fish right now. Like, the I have never gotten fish like seafood f- fast food. Like no, a fillet I mean, of fish. I've I, never. I, I that's like playing Russian roulette to me. Russian roulette? No, you don't know what you're eating. You're, what that you're too. eating is not fish, guys. If you go to McDonald's and get a fillet of fish, I can guarantee you one thing: <laughs> it ain't. I had sushi the other day, mm. and they played a fucking trick on me. What did they do? I ordered uh, a spicy crab roll, mm. so I'm just eating it. I'm like, Yo, this is amazing. It's pretty good. One of them, without me knowing, was just sitting in wasabi, Ooh. and I had no fucking idea. They got gotcha. you. So I put it in my mouth, and I immediately choked and aspirated because, like, a rice went everywhere. Yeah. And because I wasn't expecting that at all, and it hit me right in the fucking uvula. Mm. Or whatever, what's that called? I think the only girls have those. Uvula? Yeah. The only girls? Wait, what'd you say? Only girls have uvulas. <laughs> what the fuck did you hear? <laughs> I heard, I think the only, I think the only girls have those. What's and I was like, are you talking about like girls with OnlyFans? Like, oh, what are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know. Um, no, but we all got them. Is that what that is? The dangly thing. Is that what it's called? Do you know one time? I know I'm jumping from top to top here. Yeah, where, this is, by the way. Hello, podcast. How's it going? Um... <laughs> Comedy. Um, I th- one time I was drinking, and I woke up, and I was just gagging, and I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" And I was like, "Yo, what is this?" In the back of my throat, I kept gagging. I look in the mirror. My shit in the back of my throat was elongated and resting on my tongue. Yeah, I, I've heard that happen to other people too. I would be. Very and I was upset. just gagging the whole day. What does that thing do? It like fucking. I don't know. It's like a bouncer. It's is like you, yo. Is you trying? It's like warning people, like, yo, they're coming. It's a lookout. Like, whose promo code you got? I think it's like a lookout. Like, it's like letting the throat know, like, yo, something's coming. That's actually pretty smart. Yeah, it's like a, like a can door. You t- can you touch it? Can I touch it? Touch it right now. I don't like putting my hands in my mouth. Why not? 
Because they're dirty. I mean, I so? All right, put a pen. Put a, oh, oh, yeah, let me get your fucking pen that you don't know where it is. <laughs> with your, your fingers on it. Shove that in my face. I, I think... You could touch it. I think I can. I think I've touched it. I think I've touched my own. I don't think I've ever touched anyone else's. Not, it's not, just not the cards, you know. Not the cards for me. It's their fault. It's not your it, fault. And 100%. They had a really long mouth. They had a long jaw. They had a long head. A long face. A long face. Yeah. Uh, I, I actually recently drove by a Joe's crab shag. What the? F- <laughs> Why did I say that? Like <laughs> There's a guy shagging crabs in there. Is just banging crab. A Joe's crab shack. I don't know what that is. is it's that like basically it's it's like yeah it's like a chain of uh, crab spot. You know, and I, I just looked at it and said, like, God, I'm so glad I don't eat fucking fast food, seafood, like seafood, fast food. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, to me. Long John Silver's, what are you doing, dude? Yeah, I know. What are you doing? Don't do that. Also, like, Golden Corral, I'm going to say it. No, don't say it. I've been to a Golden Corral in the motherland of Golden Corrals, a.k.a. Daytona, Florida. Oh. And it was fucking not bad. It was okay. Oh, Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, so I don't know. Oh, I thought you were going to say, like, it's fucking hot trash. Oh, uh, yeah, I believe that. Oh, no, I was going to say it wasn't that bad. Mm, I'm not doing that. It's not like a Sizzler. You remember Sizzler? (laughs) They had good cocktails. King China Buffet? Not that they had King. I mean, I was only there when I was, like, super young. I don't remember. Fucking very bad. But they had a a cool cool fountain. They had a koi pond. And that we threw a lot of things in. A lot of pennies. I thought I was making wishes. What I was really doing was killing fish. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, they're only fish. They don't have hearts and souls. They have hearts, no souls. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, we got some stories. Um, uh, no, hold on, I just want to. I, I wanted to talk. I wanted to ask you something. Not that I wanted to ask you, but I. I, I had. An I, d- I do want to make it very clear, yeah. abundantly clear. Sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. I'll get right to you. Yeah. Second week, still wearing a trucker hat. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I noticed this the other day. Who's the shortest man that you know? Or just pick a short. When you think a short, a short man, Greg. <laughs> He's not the shortest man, you know. He's pretty short. How short is he? He's like five four. Bro, are you insane? <laughs> um, Jose Altuve. How tall is he? I think he's like five four. I hate him so much. He's not five four, bro. Jose Altuve height, second baseman for the Houston Astros, lying chin. five six. Piece of shit. So here's the here's my thing, right? When I think of short men, yeah, who are like legitimately short. I think they're like 5'5", five five, right? They're like 5'2". No, but that's the thing. I don't think that men are that size. There are definitely men that size. You remember Bro, Bagel... Bro, I've never... Have you ever seen a man who was 5'1", ever? No. Bagel you Boss. You see people that are like... You remember Bagel Boss? That guy in the Long Island Bagel Shop where he was like, They're fucking making fun of me! <laughs> Calling me names! <laughs> you guys don't remember him? Women on dating apps! Yeah, calling me short... Fucking low life. He, he was actually kind of funny. These girls made a point. Yeah, but like, but my point is this, right? You never see a guy anywhere from five foot to five four. Yeah, because they've all killed themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> No, but you never see anyone that height. Like women, you see that height all the time. Yeah. You know, and like you, I and I know like two girls that are like four eleven, and you're like, oh, you're like right on the border. Like technically, I can get a handicap space because I'm a, like a little person or something. Like I think that's like the cutoff or some shit. Mm-hmm. But it's like, okay, you're still not, you know, and it's different because there's little people who are however height, but then there's people who don't classify as little people who are just short. People, yes, but I hear with what you're men, saying. they're not in that range. I think they are. Short men are like five five. They're just well hidden, dude. They don't want like people to know they exist. So, so where are they? They the... wear like boots, bro. But yeah, but we'll know a fuck if you're you're wearing Timberland and you're fucking five five. I'm like, bro, you're five three. <laughs> like, yeah, I and know. I don't know any five three men. I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess I'd have to like look around, bro. You don't see five three men out there. Someone they're recent, all five five. We someone took a screenshot from the Santa Gata Studios video where we did the competitive eating, which you should go check out. Uh, and they, it was me and you next to each other. And they were like, bro, Frankie towers over Joe. Yeah, yo, in that video, I looked tiny. Well, also crazy. He's legs. massive. He was like six three, six four. But also, I think I was not wearing shoes, 
and then I was also standing in behind you guys, so I looked like legitimately a foot shorter than stop, you. Stop stop making excuses, Joe. You're shorter than us. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm like three inches shorter than you. You're five nine. I'm five ten. You're not five ten, dude. Get the tape. Get the tape. <laughs> and you're six one. I'm six foot. Six foot. I'm six foot, man. Six right. one if I want to be. Sketcher boots on? Sketcher boots, you're six seven. <laughs> six seven. <laughs> Platform sketcher boots. Yeah, no, you're you're right about that. I, I, I and I I feel like you only see people in like the fucking like the general average height range. Like you really don't see like super tall women either. I think like the tallest woman I knew was like five ten. No, no, no. We uh, there was that one girl that we've met. She huh? was like six foot. She played volleyball. Who? She's from Florida. I don't know that. Oh you, yeah, she was tall. She was tall. She was very, very, very tall. I, you're saying met very, like very, re- very insane. recently. She was like 2012 when we met <laughs> yeah, her. Well, Joey, I was like, well, <laughs> who did we meet? No, but yeah, she was tall. She was very tall. She was also an athlete. She was quite the athlete. Yeah. Um, and uh, she was uh, just an athlete. Yo, we're not. <laughs> I don't want to blast anyone. Okay, shit. all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Ten years ago. Yeah, well, um, I'm sure if you check old episodes, there's something about her on there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's uh, that's kind of like nuts to me. Like that, I legitimately don't know any any men who are five foot to five four, and I think I'd like to know more. Yeah, I think we know. I, I'm trying to think who's the shortest of our friends. Davino, maybe. Yeah, Davino's close. He's got to be like five five. I think he's 5'6". Well, him and Dominic are similar in height. Dominic's real small. I think Dominic's taller than him, though. But Dominic has a machismo to him that makes him appear bigger. Davino doesn't. Davino, you guys know Davino. Uh, yeah. He is legitimate. Well, Dominic's wedding, he's super Italian. And I was one of his groomsmen. And our friend, who's Frankie's brother-in-law, is 6'7". Yes, yes, he is. He was one of the best men. And then I was the second tallest groomsman. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I'm. We're in the church, and I'm like, oh my god. I'm texting Davino. How tall are you? He's gonna. Well, he might ham it. He might ham it up. Yeah, I'm gonna. Whatever he says, I'm gonna just minus two inches. Right. It's just that's the way it is. It's the way it works with men. Men are always lying about their height and their girth. Yeah, they're they're definitely their wiener weens. Yeah, they're what? Their wiener weens. Weens. Wiener weens. Oh, wiener weens. That's one thing. That's one whole thing, right there. Gotcha. So um, we're gonna find out about Davino's penis. Oh no, not his penis. (laughs) <laughs> I guess I could ask that too, um, but something tells me he's probably we're gonna normal. I think he's gonna say five seven, and then we're gonna go okay five six, uh, no, a low f- five, five six five I would say. He said five eight. <laughs> he said five nine. What do he say? <laughs> five five. Oh yeah. So Davido's like a five four. You know that's how tall Lil Wayne is. He said he's five five. Damn he, damn he gets, right. And he kisses daddy. Yeah, but he says I'm five nine, but I could six nine, and then beat that pussy like Klitschko, who just won a, 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 a an award for being courageous and fighting in the Ukraine war. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I, but it I, all kind of fits together. You see what I'm saying? What did, I haven't texted Davino since April, and I just said, "How tall are you?" He replied, five, five. I just wrote back, "Damn." <laughs> he's gonna call you. And he's gonna call me you. and be like, "Yo, what was?" That? And yeah. I'm gonna say I brought up in the episode. He's gonna be like, "You fuck." Um, no, then he'll be like, should I quit my job and just be a pod- podcaster full-time? You never know. That's what I did. Uh, but yeah, enough about Davino's penis. Let's get to BetterHelp right now. BetterHelp is going to help you. Uh... <laughs> this is the, one of the best ongoing bits we have, if not, <laughs> if not the only one. Yeah. Um, but BetterHelp uh, is going to help you. It's online therapy. So if you want to talk to a therapist, you can talk to them online. You can talk to them via text, video chat, whatever you want, whatever makes you mo- most comfortable um, when you sign up with BetterHelp. Not only that, but if you want to start talking, you can start – talking to a therapist in just under 48 hours. So it's a pretty quick turnaround. I'm not going to string you along and do this whole thing. It's under 48 hours you'll be talking to a therapist, and they also make it very easy to switch from therapist to therapist to find the right fit for you. Uh, they have licensed professionals that specialize in, you know, different things, relationship trauma or, you know, anything like that. Uh, but uh, also it's very affordable, definitely more affordable than in-person therapy, which can be extremely expensive, especially if you don't have insurance or the right insurance that they take or whatever. Uh, so on top of it already being affordable, our listeners get 10% off for your first month at betterhelp.com slash basement yard. That is betterhelp.com slash basement yard uh, for 10% off your first month. So go check them out. Better help. Uh, and we have MVMT here. MVMT, great site, has 
loads of stuff. Father's Day is coming up. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're someone's birthday or whatever, you got parties coming up, graduation parties, you want to get someone a gift, you go to MVMT. They have blue light glasses. They have uh, fine jewelry. They have watches, really nice watches. I have a bunch of MV MVMT watches. Um, and you're looking at like 400 to $500, uh, you know, in like a department store or something to get these watches, but the same quality, if not better, uh, at a fraction of the price when you use MVMT. Um, so yeah, they're great. And the blue light glasses, super useful. If you are on a computer all day, which most of us are, especially now that people are working from home, you're on Zoom meetings or whatever, you're straining your eyes. So get yourself a pair of blue light glasses, protect your eyes, um, and they have fashionable ones also. So go check them out. Uh, you know, you get free shipping, free returns, and 15% off today by going to mvmt.com slash basement. That's mvmt.com slash basement, all right? So uh, yeah, 15% off, and uh, yeah, mvmt.com slash basement. Boom. Free shipping and free returns. Um, now, moving on, we have a pretty exciting story about one of my favorite animals of all time. Oh. Yeah. What's your top three animals? Top three animals? Uh, honestly, you're gonna joke about it. Lions, tigers, bears. Oh my. There we go. I also really like uh, sharks. Tigers are two and bears are three. Yeah, I would say so. You don't like dogs or cats? I like cats and dogs, but like not as much. Like a lion is pretty dope, dude. Technically, the lion is a cat. So, uh, but like household cats, I like them. I, I'm uh, them and dogs are like right, like in the like both. I like them both equally. I think I'm gonna go dogs. Wait, dogs are your all-time favorite animal? Yeah, I fucking love dogs. Well, uh, just for the simple fact that they're also accessible. Like, you can hug them and like, you know what? I can't fuck. I'm never gonna be around a lion, bro. Yeah, but a lion is way doper than a dog. Bro, a lion is way doper than a dog. They can lick the fucking flesh off your bones, dude. That's so cool. What do dogs do? Lick their own shit? First of all, my dog doesn't lick his own shit. He does lick his fucking penis, though. He licked that penis hard. Or what's dude, left yeah. of it? He don't got much left. No, he doesn't have balls. He has a lot of dick left. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, and I don't think you lose it anyway. Um, they, uh, no, but I, what I say? Dogs? Then probably, I like lions, too, but like, I uh, probably lions and then monkeys dude monkeys are a cool one man because you know and i had i felt i not i didn't follow him and i'm a fucking idiot i should have and it was one of my biggest regrets of my entire life <laughs> but i saw this guy on tiktok and he owns a monkey and he puts like a diaper on it wait not following this guy on tiktok is one of the biggest regrets of your whole life one of them yeah wow <laughs> what a life yeah <laughs> is up there um with not asking but see what kind of monkeys it's uh, bro it's Whatever. Like a like like you Not know like a gorilla like or orangutan. Orang orang no, giant I'm orangutan. Orangutans are cool, dude. Bro, no, they're not. Orangutans are the worst monkey. No, they're fucking not. Orangutans. The worst monkey are the ones that have the wild ass, the fucking red baboons. baboons. So evil shit. Bro, baboons are Actually, evil no, as shit. No, but they're dull. They, dude, they look fucking they're cool. They're fucking wild, dude. They look like a ho like like a, a Their cross. asses are only out when they're horny. Yeah, though. but look at their face. I don't give a fuck. Their ass is always red like that. Not if bro, they're evil as shit. They're I would say evil, I would bro. say chimps are the coolest. Chimps are gorillas, dude. Gorillas are fire. Gorillas are fucking sick. Bro, gorillas just walk. Yeah. Ooh. Oh God, uh, I would love for a well, I, I don't know. If I could guarantee me living, I would let a gorilla beat the shit out of me. No, no. They, they I would just need to live you. and be fully recovered, though. Yeah, well, I mean, you'd be walking away with a couple of... Couple I don't want to feel any of the pain. I don't want to fully recover in like a month. But I'd let a gorilla beat the shit out of me because that's how cool I think they are. I would fish fight a gorilla. Just like take my ankle and just fucking... Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> yeah, no. Gorillas are strong. I do think like of all the animals I named, I wouldn't be able to beat any of them in a fight. Gorilla, the only one I stood a chance, though. Because I, I could like... Ah! Well, well, um, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> listen, Frankie. Listen, listen, just listen. They can pick up a whole car. I, I know they can, but they won't with me. And I'll tell you why. Because I've got You're something. You're Jane Goodall, is that why? <laughs> well, I'm saying, like, they're emote, like, those animals you can reason with. You can emote, you can emote with. Wait, like, you think you're going to gaslight a gorilla? I'm not saying, yeah, that's your specialty, Joe. <laughs> no, you're, I'm you're not, just talking about manipulating I'm not saying manipulating. I'm not saying manipulating, but, like, if I let it feel pain and sympathy for me when I'm trying to kill it, I would be you able gaslighting. to gaslight. No, no. You're attempting to gaslight a gorilla. I don't think gaslighting is the right terminology here, Joey. You would befriend it and then stab it in the back. I would want it to feel safe with me and then I would betray it. I would give it a false sense of security. Yeah. 
and then I would I would do what I had. You to would do make to, this gorilla think you would fall in love with it and make the gorilla think I would, it was I crazy. I would be like, oh my god, this gorilla's in here. Like, yo, you don't want to. I I I'd get down to it. I'd do the hand thing that monkeys do. What the fuck is that? That's like a. You ever see these new Planet of the Apes things where they like give them their hand and like they wait for them to do that? Are you referencing a movie <laughs> about a planet of apes in outer space? First of all. We're all in outer space, technically. Second of all... Damn, that was bars. The, the most recent <laughs> movies took place on Earth, in San Francisco. And if I can reason with anyone, it's people in San Francisco, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I'm just saying, like, the, the monkey's in the other corner. I'm over here. And this thing is, like, piss. You see it's piss. It wants to hurt me. But, like, I get down and I cower and I'm like, oh, my God, like, we have more in common. I try to communicate with it. Coco the gorilla. You know Coco the gorilla. Yes. They were able to do it with Coco. So I can then, you know, like, oh my God, things are great, things are great. And then I take one of these wires and I strangle it. Say, all of that was okay. Until... <laughs> until the very end there? Until the end where you were like, I'll strangle it. The second you decide, <laughs> other than using a literal bazooka, or the sharpest katana that could just slice through a gorilla like butter. Katanas are, are real. Yeah. If you are going to be like, I'll just strangle the gorilla, the gorilla is going to turn around and look at you while you have all of your might around its neck, and it's going to go. No, and no, then no, no. Fucking I... ass fuck you. I, I think I could. <laughs> also, you ever see those, a video of, of gorillas fucking? No, that I have. Bro, haven't. they fuck so hard. Do they? Is it like a good fuck? It's oh, like a... it's that Bruno Mars song, dog. You and me, baby, making love like gorillas. Oh my god, that's right. Ooh, what a weird thing to write a song about. It's like I need inspiration for a song. Me and about you fucking like gorillas. me and you fucking like wild monkeys. Yeah, how about that? I mean, I guess, man. Uh, no, I, I I will say, um, of all those, like I stand I stand no chance with a lion, no chance with a tiger, no chance with a bear, dogs. Good chance. I would, yeah. I would, I would, I would strike to say that I don't think there's a single dog on this planet that can kill me. Wrong again. I do think a 50 50 chance with a gorilla because I would befriend it and I would have it fall in love with me. Yeah. And I would make it feel safe and secure. And then when it's last expecting it, boom, I'll, I'll I, break off a piece of that chair. Frankie, you couldn't even do that. <laughs> you wouldn't, you're breaking off a, a steel chair. You think, hold on. You th first of all, I could definitely break off a piece of that steel chair. And it could be jagged, and I can stab it. I'll put you in a room with a gorilla, and I will give you 100 knives, <laughs> and you will fucking lose. <laughs> I don't know about in that. In seconds. 100 knives, dude? I'm 100 throwing, knives. I'm throwing 20 of those off the bat. Throwing them? You're not a ninja. <laughs> Bro, you give me 20 chances to throw a knife, I can do damage. You're only going to throw one. That's what's going to happen. You're going to throw it. It's going to hit him. It's nah. going to go, oh my God, this thing hurt me. And then it's going to put you through the wall. No, I, I honestly think that I could. I, I stand a bit of a chance. Name other animals and I'll tell you if I legitimately believe I stand a chance. I'm not horse, saying horse, horse. I stand a chance with a horse. Absolutely, I stand a chance. How are you going to hurt a horse? Get on it and choke it. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Frankie, real quick. How you get on a horse? How you getting on a horse? Is there a ladder on it? Because that's the only way. <laughs> no, I. You I, need a other guy going one, two. Also, <laughs> we've <laughs> we've discussed this. If the horse is running at me, I'll just cannonball my body into its legs. I'm not gonna have that conversation <laughs> again because it's. Really that thing goes down. It'll go down hard. Also, horses are really. I just need to feed it like a bad carrot. That thing will be dead in an hour. They have very sensitive intestines. I've heard this from a very trusted source. <laughs> You got a horse guy? I got a horse guy. Yeah. What about... All right, cheetahs. No, nah, no chance, dude. Thank you. No. With giraffes? No chance. Absolutely with a giraffe, yeah. Absolutely what? I absolutely stand a chance with a giraffe. Okay, what are you going to do? Uh, Tell me you're going to get on that too, you <laughs> fucking idiot. I, I think I could. You can't even touch the rim. I think I can definitely <laughs> touch rim, dude. I, I, I think, again, like you got to take it. Look at its legs. It's walking around like these fucking tripods. They got no weight to them. They're all fucking bony and, and, and they, got no, they got no support. What are you going to do if the giraffe picks up its leg? And you miss. I just do it again. I got unlimited ability to cannonball my body. This giraffe will get tired eventually. Hippos. Nah, no shit. Bro, hippos? Are you crazy? <laughs> Bro, hippos are, are like the most deadly animal on the planet. Killer whales. N anything in the water? No chance. <laughs> okay. If I am... if Now, killer whale in this room with no water? 
I stand a very good chance. Well, yeah, you should just stand in the corner. I just stand in the corner for an hour, and I'm good. <laughs> yeah. But uh, in water, it could be like a school of fucking krill. I'm dead. Yeah, yeah. Mm. What about some vicious birds, like a hawk? What about a vulture? Probably no bird can kill me. Unless they give me, like, bird flu or some shit. If I die from a bird, I deserve to be dead. I'll be honest with you. Birds are probably one of the last animals that I ever want to be attacked by. Because of their hands, dude. I don't like... uh, You know what? I don't like birds either. You know I don't like insects and shit? I don't really like the idea of a bird coming at me. Because think about this. A bird is coming at you, right? It's got little feet... And that I actually, don't like. And they're sharp too, dude. And they're talons, right? And there's only like three of them. And bro, one's like in the back. Bro, eagles have picked up like deer and dude, like flown away with them. They have hands like this. Like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. And like they come at you, right? But then the feathers, and they're like, <laughs> like I just like it's disgusting. I'd be like, I no. would, I would, I would. There's no bird on this planet that can take me down, unless it's like a sneak attack. Like they get me from the back, and they well, like. No, like an ostrich would fucking. No, ostrich too. I'm choking the shit out of that thing. Are you kidding me? Bro, I think you're underestimating how big an ostrich is. I know ostriches are big, but they're not as well, strong you as you said you're going to beat up a giraffe, so I don't know why I'm even reasoning. I'm not, to look, I, I'm not saying I will, I will beat up a giraffe. I'm saying that I have a chance because giraffe are kind animals. You have to classify two things in the animal kingdoms, ruthless and kind. And the reality is that giraffes are in that kind bracket. Hippos, no. lions, tigers, cheetahs, ruthless, dude. Nah, those are not. Yo, bro, none of those animals. Bro, are you kidding me? Every animal in the animal kingdom, they have birth. They gave birth to a baby that's like, oh, it's a little deformed. It's like, what a fucking idiot. They take it down a hill and they <laughs> well, want to get eaten. They might be, they might, they don't have the capacity for love as, as we do. That's what I'm saying. That's why, baby. But that's why I think the, the, the gorilla and I have a chance because the gorillas were descendants of gorillas eventually, you know, through time and stuff like that. If you want to make arguments, I think that I can reason with a gorilla into not killing me. I do. Dude, Jane Goodall did it, and she was in, like, the fucking jungles. She didn't kill one. She didn't have to. She was befriending it. Also, I think that they, little I, I, brittle that, old I, bitch couldn't have <laughs> killed one. I think, also, hold on. It might have backfired there. I think they killed her. I think she, like... Wait, I think they did kill her, I yeah. think they disappeared. What was the name of the movie? Like, In the Mist or something like that? Jane Goodall. The Mist of the Jungle. Death. Jungle's Mist. I think she was taken away and killed. No, no, no. Oh, oh, yeah. She died eighty eight, so she she really uh, she really got after it. Who was the one the person that got killed by the gorillas, dude? Bro, mad people. Also, fucking orangutans. Yeah, those no. motherfuckers fuck people up. Bro, orangutans and and what are the ones? Baboons. Baboons will rip your face off. Baboons are, are reckless. They remind me of little warriors, honestly. Yeah. With fucking bright butts. They they do got bright butts. I can't find any. Wait, is she alive? No. <laughs> She's alive. Is she? <laughs> I thought for sure I thought she, she was, was gone. There is one that that <laughs> she's alive, bro. Is it Jane Austen? Who was the one that got Jane Austen? Who's that? I don't know. There was one person that <laughs> That's was like right. a, I can't find anything on her death. There was one person that was like a gorilla person that got killed. I know that. It's like a famous one. I mean, you know any other famous gorilla ladies? <sighs> no. I only know Jane. Is Jane Goodall even a gorilla lady? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make she's sure. She's the gorilla lady. Or chimpanzees. Oh, chimpanzees, dude. Me one-on-one with a chimp? No, it's a rat. I just want to make it very clear. I, I don't want to hurt these animals. Are chimpanzees I love strong? All, I love all animals. <sighs> chimp muscle performance found that, on average, they are 1.5 times more powerful than humans in pulling and jumping tasks. All right, so I just got to push it. They, they're good at pulling and jumping. No... <laughs> How about he pulls your fucking head off? <laughs> that would be a problem. But I don't think humans have the ability to pull another human's head off. So 1.5 times, that means that they're not much stronger than us. Chimps are much stronger than we are. Yeah, when it comes to pulling weights, they had twice the amount of strength than a human. Oh, all right, cool. So this fucking chimp could do a better seated row than me. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what is that going to do when I throw a punch at it? Again, I don't want to hurt any animals. I love. I am. A, I'm a fan of all animals. Yeah, I'm a member of the animal loving community. Oh, but if I needed to defend myself, I think I'd do okay. I'll say this, right? Mm-hmm. 
when it comes to animals, real ones, because you don't stand a chance against T-Rexes, obviously. That one, yeah. I'll be, any dinosaur can kill me. <laughs> but uh, um, at the top of my list of animals that I think could just, like, kill me, the very top, I have gorilla. Why? I would say the very top is a lion, dude. I stand no chance with a lion. Why? I'm not saying not why. Like, of course. But bro, a gorilla because you can kick the shit out of a lion. Bro, we've had this conversation. Bro, a gorilla beats the shit out of a lion, bro. We've had this conversation, bro. Lions are fucking up a gorilla. We've done this before, man. You really want to rehash this conversation? We already agreed to disagree, bro. Lions have everything on them. No, they don't. What a gorilla's gonna do? They're Just walk angry. Stronger. They're gonna walk angry, dude. This this four swipes of these fucking paws. Bro, you ever seen the size of swipe bro. of a paw? It's a cat. This thing fights like a human. Yeah. Swipe. This thing's gonna punch you like fucking yeah. Francis Nagano. And it punches and then it misses and then these fucking talons, these claws are gonna rip off a quarter inch of skin. Let me ask you a question. You seen Tarzan? What happened to that cheetah? That was a cheetah, not a lion. So? Bro, what happened to it? Cheetahs are dead, smaller than dead, lions, dead, dude. Dead. Cheetahs are smaller than lions, bro. And he was going up against a guy with a gun. Fucking what's yeah, his the name? Guy missed. He had a musket. He did have a what the fuck was that? That was a, I hate musket. guns like that, dude. Yeah. The opening's like why? Yeah, it's like Is a, this trumpet. a trumpet or a musket. Doesn't make any sense. Nerd. Bro, lions are fucking up. Who's stronger, lions or gorillas? You're, you, what, how do you judge who's stronger? Maybe a fucking lion can't do as many push-ups, but guess what? It can bite down with the force of a thousand suns. They weigh about the same. Oh, he's seeing something that's going to no, they prove him wrong. No, because this doesn't... It just says they tend to be stronger, but I don't know. Oh, oh. The beginning of this thing says, whoever's bigger tends to be stronger, but they're the same size. I'm telling you right now. We've had this conversation. Okay, on. here we go. Here's the, here's the measurables. All right. Tail of the tape. The lions are anywhere from four foot seven to eight foot two. Eight foot two. Oh, and they stand up, I guess. And then uh, gorillas, bro. Gorillas, not very tall. Yeah, bro. They're like five four. Okay, they are. <laughs> they uh. Bro, this thing is double its fucking height. What's the the bite PSI in a line, 650. They have 30 teeth, including four four-inch canines. What's the bite PSI of a gorilla? If the, if the 100,000. <laughs> I don't know, Joe. Fucking tell me. A lion is 650. Yo, a gorilla is 1,300. Okay, guess what? They have human-ass mouths. Bro. Bro, if you got a stronger bite than a fucking... If you had a stronger bite than a dog, I'd be like, all right, cool, but you don't got a cool mouth like a dog. Bro, animals fight like animals. You don't think they're going to bite each other at some point? This thing will bite its fucking head right off. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that if you have a small mouth that is stronger attacking a big mouth that is not as strong but still can do some fucking damage, bro, okay. that's law of nature. Highly intelligent and capable of using tools and weapons to a small extent. That's gorillas. So this thing's going to use rocks. It's oh going to fight God. dirty. Bro, okay. It's going to use a rock against an animal that is fucking literally... It's daily life is killing other animals. <laughs> Gorillas are like, yo, peace, man. Peace. Give me, just give me some fucking Do leaves. You, are you insane? Just, just give me some leaves. And the lions are like, yo, I rise and grind every day. This is like saying who's going to win in a fight. Fucking Francis Ngannou or Michael Cera. It's an opportunistic predator. So when the opportunity arises, beat the fuck out of this lion. Bro. Dude, this is a whole article about if they fought. It's a lion, dude. Nah, bro, I'm going gorilla. Those things are fucking brolic. Also, do you remember how I started this saying like, oh, <laughs> the, we have about your favorite animal. Yeah, and then, I, and then we were all down talking about <laughs> no, it. No, yeah, no, it's over. I feel like this is such a dude podcast topic. This is this has been one of the most dude episodes where we've had, we've spoken about nothing. Yeah, not yet. But about a lot. Right, of course. Um, let's just get to the last ad we have here, which is bird dogs. Okay, we got the fucking, the bird dog shorts. 
Uh, they're the best shorts in the game. You wear them to the gym. You wear them on a run or just like they're nice and fashionable. All right. They have like a bunch of different styles. They have a very comfortable liner inside and they're stretchy. So they're not constricting on the thighs. They're very nice shorts. Go to bird dogs. Get yourself some bird dogs. All right. They have like a bunch of different styles. Like I said, you can wear them to the gym. You can wear them out. You can wear them like in a semi corporate setting. I would say if it's like shorts day or something, they have really nice stuff. Um, so go check them out. Go to birddogs.com. Enter the promo code BASEMENT, and they'll throw in a free bird dogs dad hat. Okay? Uh, that's birddogs.com. Uh, promo code is BASEMENT, and boom, free bird dogs dad hat with your pair of bird dogs. Get your downstairs ready for summer, folks. Uh, you will no, you will, wait, you will not want to take these off. They are really comfortable. And the liner, incredible. Actually, I prefer that because... It makes me feel nice. In the, in the summer, when all of a sudden you start getting a little, like, sweaty or something, mm. go get yourself a pair of d- bird dogs. Enter that promo code basement. Get yourself a free hat, folks. Um, but the reason why... Well, before you get to that reason, I got to tell people about the Patreon, Joey. Oh, yeah. Come on. Why don't you want me to tell people about the Patreon? Do it. That's right. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. And we tell you guys all the time about the Patreon. But for some reason, if you're new here or if you haven't heard about us talking about it, Sign up for the Patreon today. We are closing in on 11,000. Where are we at right now, Joey? Cool. And uh, we hope to do some more things for you, obviously, at 10,000. I went, and as a Patreon exclusive video, I got a, a manzillion, a.k.a. a brozillion, a.k.a. a Brazilian wax, on a man. And it was um, an awful experience, but it's all right there for you guys to watch on the Patreon. If you're a member of the Patreon, patreon.com slash the basement yard, that first tier, you get these weekly episodes a week in advance. Get in on the jokes, the conversations, the stupidity. Tell me why a lion is going to beat a bear sooner than anybody else's that is not a patron. And then that next tier, that $10 tier, well, guess what? You get exclusive episodes every single Friday. So you could start and end your week with the basement yard, with me, with Joey, mostly me, because this, let's be honest, that's why you're here. No, it's not. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. Go check it out. Thank you, Frankie, for that. that I'm very good. good. Oh, and humble, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm so humble. I'm the humblest. <laughs> Remember when Trump said that? I might be the most humble, honestly. Maybe. We knew someone. We know someone that used to talk like that. To be like, I'm so humble. Like, no one is as humble and realistic and down to earth as me. I'm so, like, people need to be. And it's like, shut the fuck She's up. Like, no, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, the reason why we brought up animals is because there was a story that came out that an elephant killed a woman, which is very sad because elephants are cool. They but are. also it's sad because a woman died. Well, well you, I should have said that first. Let's be honest. What? Well, I don't know her, so. Yeah, we, she could have been, like, bad. I was going to say right, so. All right, where are we going to? Okay. People are dying. An elephant killed a woman. That's not the interesting part. Elephants, apparently, I assume they kill people all the time. They also never forget. They don't. They have really good memories. So if you fuck with an elephant, this might happen to you. Because this elephant killed a woman, and then it returned to the funeral, and then it trampled the corpse. Damn. So I don't... <laughs> I'm not going to say, I, I, I don't want to speak ill of the deceased. Yes. She deserved it. I'll say it. No, I'm going to say that we should, we should at least ask. We should ask some questions. How, do you know the elephant? What are the chances that happens? We need to probe a little bit because. It's not often you hear about a, a, an elephant trampling someone to death. Trampling the same person twice, though? That's like, bro, that's like getting struck by lightning 10 times. Yeah, that's not going to happen at On all. On your birthday every year. Like, you know, it's just like, this is, what are the chances? We always see these videos of elephants being, like, kind and, like, saving their children and, like, doing other oh, things God. that are, like, dope. Oh, we spoke bad about someone, didn't we? She was a 70-year-old woman. 70? 70. Oh, I thought you were saying seven. If it was a child, I would have felt upset. 70. Well, she I was, said woman. I wouldn't she was, gonna, she was meeting her maker one day. Yeah, no. Kind sooner, of a cool way to go out. So, sooner, yeah, actually, it is. But uh, you never hear about elephants just being, like, super fucking, like, wild, you know? This well, must have been an elephant on, like, Rumspringa. It was. It strayed away from the <laughs> wildlife sanctuary. <laughs> Look at that, folks. It, it strayed away, which is like 10 miles from the city, and she was going to like collect water, and then the elephant just like fucking trampled her. How do you not... Uh, this might sound like a really stupid question. How do you not get out of the way of an elephant running at you? Bro. Uh, think of an elephant running at you. That's terrifying. Yeah, but like I see it, and then I move to my left or right. They're, elephants aren't good with lateral movement. Yeah, but they can, like, You turn. can juke an elephant right out of their fucking Bro, paws. Bro, you, you'd be surprised. Like, I've seen elephants, like, attack. Bro, I saw a fucking video one time of people in, like, a safari car. And they were, like, in the woods. And there was an elephant. They could see it. And it was, like, hiding behind trees and shit. 
and then it fucking charged through the fucking leaves and made that like elephant noise like Rrr! I know and which just one. fucking stopped real quick to try and like scare them I would have shit in your pants bro just move it's they were in a car an even better <laughs> reason to move punch it <laughs> yeah sir. just Get fucking hit the gas dude yeah no this elephant knew something about this woman that most people didn't like what was she doing when she was collecting water oh my god dude oh it's getting worse isn't it Are we going to have to cut this? Dude, this is so fucked. No, I mean, we already got to what it was like, but the thing came back for the funeral, and it it trampled her body. No, it grabbed the body, and then trampled it, and then threw it away. Bro, what the fuck is wrong with this elephant? What did this woman do? Honestly... That's an elephant. You gotta put that elephant down. Well, uh, yeah, you gotta catch it first. This I thing gotta, is fucking. I mean, catch it. This thing is the fugitive of elephants. Yeah, this one's not a good elephant. You need to send Tommy Lee Jones after this elephant. Tommy Lee Jones. You never saw the fugitive? I have. Harrison Ford, Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah, but you think he could have killed an elephant? I would have picked the any joke, other fictional character. The joke character. That I just made he's the fugitive. Yeah. You know, I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. <laughs> you know, no, this elephant. I'm telling you right now, elephants. Most of the time, we hear about elephants. They're kind. They're docile. They're cute. They drink water out of their snouts. This one had something going on. This one like woke up on the wrong side of the plane. It's funny you say that because uh, uh, elephants are generally benign and passive. They don't rush out of nowhere to attack people that pose no threat to them or, or to their safety or babies or anything like that. So this incident is surprising because it shows no provocation of the elephant. Maybe elephants are just like Will Smith. Like, people thought, like, you must have fucking forgot where we're from, bitch. I'm a fucking elephant. Like, I'm from fucking, I'm from West Philly. You think that just because I've been, you know, making cute videos and, like, people make painting stuffed animals of me and painting that I'm a cute animal. They but no, nah, motherfucker. Yeah, that's crazy, man. And they just fucking run your ass over. Traveled a seven-year-old woman and then came back and said, I'm not done. That's crazy. That's, that's some, like, you hear about shit like that in movies only. Bro, I saw another video recently of an elephant. It's weird how elephants are kind of following me around now. So C careful, <laughs> they'll yeah, follow not, you to the end, and yeah. then and then after yeah. they'll come back for you. They, I saw a video of an elephant. Like someone was on a safari again, and they were just stopped, and an elephant's fucking right there, and it's the whole wall. It's that big, dude. Legit, nah, dude. Bro, all right, it's like half the wall. It's fucking huge, and the tusk. Yeah, the tusks are the scary it part. It goes right in this guy's face and it starts the like tusks. blowing air at him. I would have Well, lost no, it. not the tusk. The tusk. No, I mean the fucking trunk. The snout, the trunk, that's it. The snout. That's what I No, said. but the trunk was like right on his shit and like he was like sniffing his clothes. If I would have made it out of there alive, I'd have been like, yo, this is it. That's pretty cool, honestly. That's awesome. Not if it. Also terrifying. Yeah. Got or it, there's man. a place in Kenya that you can go and have like fucking lunch or whatever and then like. Fucking giraffes just stick their heads through the window and they're like, Well, you guys got pancakes? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, Yo, this Bro, looks sick. There have been mad videos coming out lately of people fucking with animals and animals just being like, Yo, you must have forgotten who the fuck we are. Bro, there was that one guy that put his finger in a fucking lion cage and the lion was like, Yeah, took the fingers right off. Yeah. Then there was the other one, the orangutan. The orangutan. This guy was like standing all cute, like, Yo, yo, yo. And this orangutan grabbed his shirt and was like, Get the fuck yeah, over yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Come here, give me your leg, you <laughs> fucking give me, piece yeah, of shit. Bro. These animals, I'm telling you right now, us as a society have forgotten yeah. that animals are just fucking wild, dude. Without guns, we stand no chance. We stand no chance. Even I, with like cool things like spears and rocks, very little bit of a chance. I, I literally could do nothing with a spear. Put me in a room with a machine gun, I'll take anything down. Tell me I'm wrong. Uh, can you kill an alligator? Yeah, I can kill an alligator, no machine gun. We've already spoken about this. I mean... Aren't they like bulletproof or something? That might be dumb. No, but they they apparently are no because they don't make bulletproof handbags when they're taken and made into like alligator skin handbags and boots and shit like that. So who thought to wear them on your feet? The fucking South, dude. They're crazy down there. They got too many of them. They're like, oh, we need to do something. Let's eat their meat and turn their skin into fucking fanny packs and go dancing in them. <laughs> Let's go dance do see do. Let's go do see do in their fucking skin. Yeah. Who are you wearing, Billy? Like now, this is the croc from uh, 
Why am I giving this an accent? I don't know. They went right to Australia, though. Croak. Uh, do, you, do you ever think that, like, alligators, like, see, like, an alligator skin and they're, like, they can recognize it's, like, their nephew or something? No. They all go... They, I don't think they go off of sight more than... I mean, they do. But, like, scent, I think, is the big well, one. Well, you got to imagine those alligator skin bags still give off an alligator scent. Nah, bro. They've been processed. Think so? The system. I don't yeah, know. It's Al. not crazy. Are you okay over there? I sure my elbow. I hit, like, my... The funny bone? A little bit. What is the funny bone? It's like a nerve or something? It's not... I'll tell you this. Not funny. No, it's not. But, it's, like, what is it? I don't know. But it gives me a little, you know, a little stinger. And why did they call it the funny bone at first? Because I think it feels funny. You're welcome. That one's free. And the next one, I'll charge you. Oh. Uh, I also don't like that saying. Like, I don't know. I just feel funny. It's like, all right. But funny's supposed to be good. Yeah. I I, I, I think off. I like to say, like, I feel yeah. off. I was like, no, I've done something. I just feel funny. I feel off right now. I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel a little off. The fuck was that? What? The tongue? Oh, I just cleaned my mouth. You just cleaned your mouth? Yeah. What does that mean? You don't, you don't ever do that when you got something? You, know, you just clean it? You had something in your tongue? You're talking like the Joker now. No, I'm not. You, like, did the Joker thing. No, the Joker. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Joker, dude. It's like, way more sexual I don't know how I got these scars or something like that. That's not, that's the Joker. Dude, that I'm not, not. That was not bad. I'm telling you, dude. I'm a really good impressionist. Dude, Jack. Dude. Okay. Do Jane Goodall. <laughs> well, she's oh, no, alive. she's alive. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. We, we went over this, Frank. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> that's her. That's that's my Jane Goodall impression. She's stroking the back of a silverback gorilla. Can I ask you a question? With one arm. You ever get into anime? No. Does it interest you? Not in the slightest. I mean, I guess if you consider, like, Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, then I guess I did. No. But like you know, like Demon Slayer, uh, you know, and I don't even count like Dragon Ball Z. Like I don't count. That. I mean, that's technically anime too. Of course it is, but like I think that that's like too uh, like American too Americanized. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, not that shit. Like, do you watch like? Oh, so <laughs> they're gonna get you. Why? <laughs> they're gonna get you. That's anime, bro. They're gonna get you. No, I. When I, I think haven't. of anime, I think, oh, it's okay. Bro, uh, someone recently sent me a clip. I need to pull. It. I'll show it after we're done. But it's like everyone knows that one kid in school that watches too much anime and they like talk. And like yeah, act yeah. like it, where they're like, my brain isn't taking in all of your information right now. Yeah, and yeah. And it's like, all right, dude, like chill out. Like the one that does like the Naruto run at everywhere they go. Yeah. We knew people like that. Yeah. Not That's me right. though. You? No. no. I, and I, I thought about this because I was like, I met someone recently who said they were like into anime or whatever. And like, I, I, I don't know how to feel about it. It's not that I don't, I think it's like fine. Like I, I'm sure some of it's great, but I just don't like, it's like. No, I know, I know, like Cowboy Bebop and Demon Slayer, shit like that. Like I, I, I don't even know. I thought you were making those names. No, those are real names. Bebop, Cowboy Bebop, Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, um, and those are the only two I can think of at the moment. So forgive me, but I, I, I'm sure that they're good. I hear great things about them. I, I, nothing but great things. But what do you think of like when you when someone's like, oh hey, how you doing? I love anime. I think of grown men with like anime pillows with big old big old bang bangs. Big titty pillows? Yeah. Bro, that's like a whole sect. It's like a whole Oh, yeah. I mean, big group. titties is part of anime. No, no, no. Not like the big titties part, but like they like they like marry and like fuck their pillows and shit like that. I just think this is the thing. And I know this is not all anime and it's not the representation of anime that it wants to give off in that community. But a lot of what you see from like an outsider's perspective is like super sexualizing like little schoolgirls. They'll like show up in it like is. short skirts yep. and just their fucking chest popping out of their yeah. shirt, and the teacher is you know like spanks them, and it's like, what, what was that episode about? And it was like, oh, it was about human yeah. rights, and it was like, what? Yeah, you know it. And the uh, laughing is weird. It's like, oh, and it's like no one laughs this way. Why do you keep going? <laughs> I don't know. This is my anime impression. Yeah. Oh boy, you're gonna get roasted for, for this what? episode. Yeah, you're gonna get it. Why? Because I'm wrong about anime. I've never watched it. I'm no, I, I I'm with you there. I, I I'm I've never watched it either, so I can't really speak much about it but i know people that are super into it i feel like the people that watch it too are like so into it to the point where it's like i want to fuck that cartoon like that's there's, the there's thing so that... many tweets online or like uh, uh, twitter accounts that are like replying to shit and all their like pictures are these like random anime characters and they're like 
the shit I would do to this dick if it was real. And I'm like, damn, dude. Yeah, and then, it, it, like, it's it's that's the part that I'm saying. It's like, from an outsider's perspective looking in, like, it's been bastardized to be just completely sexualized. And, like, again, of course there's, like, legitimate merit and, like, story and, like, a lot of them. I'm sure I've Mer- never watched it. Yeah. But, yes, what you see is, like, people on Twitter that are, like, you know, like, I don't want any black people in Star Wars. Give me, you know, just the anime girls all the time. Oh, I've never seen that. Oh, it's there, baby. Oh. It is there. Yeah. And then, you ever notice that... You ever see about... Because I, I don't know why, but I thank, kind of thank like... Thank you for cutting me off. There's like... Oh, yeah, thank God. Uh, there was like... I don't even know what you were going to say. But the... You know the group BTS? Yeah, of course. They apparently are breaking up. <gasps> There's like 400 of them. How could they possibly... Oh, I heard that they're all exploring solo options. Really? Yeah. Good for them. Yes. That's sad. That's good. No. What'd you do? Someone here? No, I hope not. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't like when you look towards the window. It just scares me. Um, I always look that way to make sure it's recording. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, they, I always think that there's like some crossover there, but there's like crazy K-pop and anime feel like the m- most strong like fan bases. They're, very, they're feverish. They're just like fanatics. They are, and they'll like defend it to hell. Yeah, it's insane. There's some pretty hardcore fandoms out there that that are like that. BTS is one of them. Yeah. Uh, the 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 Beehive. Yeah, they came for me. Uh, the Swifties. Swifties also came for me. Also went for you. Took my fucking head off, honestly. They, they, yeah, they almost killed you. Like you wish you were as relevant as Taylor Swift, and I'm I was like, like, yeah, wouldn't you? Jesus, I told you, I told you one with the Beehive. They told me like, uh, they're like, oh yeah, this kid. He's making fun of Beyonce, but he's only worth one twentieth of what she's worth. I was like, "Fucking, I wish." I wish, man. Jesus, one twentieth of a billion ain't bad. It's like twenty million dollars. Yeah, I wish. It's always worth triple that. Yeah, I remember that article. Two hundred eight million. Two hundred eight million. That's great. I was gonna. If you were legitimately worth two hundred eight million, I gotta say you wear it well because you are not like. Yeah. Instead of besides your car and your watch, you're not like very snobby. We're halfway there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, I think we can we can wrap up right here, man. Just we ended with the Beehive, Beehive. I don't want to get it wrong. Oh, he, there, there he goes. Yeah, it's wrong. Who's gonna get you this week? The Beehive, the Swifties, or the anime people? God, I hope the anime people don't get. Were you of the those. one that were telling me that you watched? Don't even. Oh, okay. All right. You were gonna make something up. I was gonna say. Well, no, I wasn't. I was. I was gonna make something up, but I'll be serious for a sec. You watch anime porn. I have watched it. I don't. Oh, watch that was it. a joke. Do you really? No, I do, I don't watch it. I have seen it. I've I've seen it like years and years and years ago, and it was like a Teen yeah. Titans ripoff. I, <laughs> Teen Titans. I've never watched it like with my dick in my hand. I've watched it because I'm like. The yeah, fuck? I never I never watched it like getting ready to. No. I could get into that though, if I if I wanted to. Really? Like, are you like the guy that clicks on like the ads that pop up that are like Lois Griffin and Homer Simpson get it on? No, but I don't. Go, oh, no. I go, oh, look at Lois. <laughs> She's doing her thing. Let me find the X and click away. Yeah. Uh, we'll keep it on. Yeah, no, no, no. I can't. I can't no, do that No, it's not stuff. for me. But where can they find you, Frank? F. Alvarez8085 on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez on Instagram. And go check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. So you can get more episodes, uh, exclusive episodes, if you sign up for that second tier. You get these weekly episodes a week in advance. We get the 12,000. Joey's going to do something. He might get a tattoo of my name somewhere on his body. I don't know. And you never know. Literally, no. Um, you guys can go follow me at Joe Santagato. Uh, go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time.